Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. My name is Kurt, aka the Vitruvian Gamer, and I'm here today with finally a new playthrough. And today, and this time, well, not only today, I guess, we're going to play Sierra West, a game designed by Jonathan Pac Quentin, published by Bort and Dice, and also quite important, the solo mode made or improved by David Turchi. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do, folks. A solo game of this a wonderful, wonderful uh, game. So we are pioneers, and in this this case, we're going to play one of the four modules. So this game comes with four modules. You choose what you, which you want to play. You take the right cards. This whole mountain here, made of cards, they are mo uh, module specific cards. Uh, this track here is module specific, and the bottom card of my draw pile in the beginning of the game is also uh, depending on my uh, module as is this one animal that you can trap and this time it's a raccoon uh, so for this module that I'm playing and I'm playing the banjos and fish or something like that canoe and banjos I forgot boats and banjos uh, <laughs> the boats and banjos module which also adds fish to the game these canoes, one for me, one for Hastings, who will be our opponent, our artificial intelligent opponent. He's right over here. And uh, yeah, that's about it, I think. Um, so I haven't seen a playthrough of this module yet, so I thought I will do this one. Haven't done it myself before, so it's the first time that I play this one. So who knows what's going to happen. So we have a river here. Uh, the game will last until a sixth card is put here in this row. Uh, we have some cards with a canoe on it in the mountain. If those get revealed, they get placed here. If a sixth card gets revealed, we play until the round is over. So every player and artificial intelligence, Hastings, uh, will have had equal amount of turns. How everything else works, I will explain while I go through this game. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. So we want to score a lot of points at the end of the game. We will score points for uh, these tracks here. We have three tracks in which we can, well, advance. There is a number on the left of the track and we, at the end of the game, we will multiply that by the multiplier depending how far our wagon has come here on this track. So that's something we want to do. Also. Here in the right corner here, my finger is a, ta a table here. So for each card we can get from the mountain to, well, to put in our deck, uh, the more we get, the more points we score with that. Gold is worth one point each. And uh, we could get minus points. We have five animals that we can trap. For each one that we didn't trap at the end of the game, we get minus three points. And we can build some cabins here uh, on our player board for each cabin that we did not build. We also score minus three points. Also, these boot tokens here will are worth one point each. And I think that's about it. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. So what are we going to do? We will always have three cards. Uh, so let's draw those three. And as you can see, these are uh, the basic cards and they just have a hat in the player color. So I'm playing yellow. I've got my two pioneers here, which are in the camp now. I got one here ready to climb the mountain and the opponent Hastings, he has two, but he doesn't have a player board as you can see. All right, so first thing we do is we're going to plan what we will do and we get three cards to do so. We get three slots in which we can program these cards. So there are a few things that we have to take in mind. Uh, first of all, Hastings active card here, uh, which in this particular moment in time, we will go to see to this symbol here, if it's highlighted, and it is, uh, and this, then it will have a trap symbol here. It will be at the same spot, so left or right, as, as this uh, symbol here. So he's going to trap the animal that I put in the left spot. So I could, in the future, if I have cards without an animal, I could choose to put that card left so he cannot trap an animal because he also wants to trap them. But 
we are in the beginning of the game, we only have these three cards here, all animals, so he, sadly enough, he will get an animal no matter what. So we don't have to look to the, uh, at that, so we'll just do whatever pleases us the most. So we can already see some actions here, and I'm going, not going to explain them too much, but uh, I can tell you this action here, that might not be the most interesting one for me to do now, the, um, the one with the height uh, because I need to trap animals first to in order for that to be interesting so always one card will go at the back of the three cards and two of them will go in front of it like this uh, so this will be get covered so this might be something to do then we get a lot of food and stuff like that so that might not be the worst thing to do I think although we don't get that much stone we could choose to get more stone if we switch them because uh, these two will get covered let's see will we get stone no matter what I always forget when I'm looking like this um yeah a lot of stone no wood though is there a chance to get some wood no also I want to so this is not bad that it's in the middle because I don't want that bear I will explain the bear when it's shows up so let's do this for now so i'm going to plan these cards right so i'm going to put these into these slots here and i have to of course take care that the right colors are on the right spot and the middle card goes behind the cards and there we go so this is my plan for this round now small caveat i have played this game three times so far i haven't won a single time so i'm not the best player in this game so we'll see what happens right Okay, so what can we do now? So we have two, our two pioneers. Each pioneer, as you can see, will have a track. So we have one that goes on the tan track and one that goes on the green track. But before they do that, they might, if we had a cabin, they might go to their cabin first. And as long as they're on their cabin, they will be able, and I'm, I've put the wrong guy here, they will be able to keep that power of that cabin activated and the other guy can in meanwhile do other actions but as you know we don't have anything yet so we'll just go and start get a uh, well start walking I guess so first I'm going to hmm what will I do maybe I can build a cabin that I still can use so the cabins that are available they're right over here let me put it a little bit closer in the screen so we can buy these if we have to do a shovel action so I will not show that soon and um, yeah there are some interesting ones not too shabby not too shabby but can I do that already so this one they're only green cabins so for now I would have to use my green worker that will help my yellow worker but that's oh that's sad no I'm sorry I will have to use my this one and then the other one can go and get uh, I could oh this is not too uninteresting so I think I'm going to do that but I can't because oh all okay, right so this time I, I'm not going to do that I'm sorry I'm already rambling so this is a game the planning uh, it's just madness okay so I'm just going to go right over here with this worker that's his track and get myself two stone all right, so I'm just going to place them right over here. And uh, next step is let's take the boot action. Now you can do two things with the boot action. First, either you can move one of your, well, your only uh, traveler here, one space on the mountain to an adjacent card. If he's still at the bottom of the mountain, he can choose whichever card he wants. So that's one thing. We can also use the boot to go upwards on the wagon track Again, that's important to score those multipliers, but that would cost us a boot and a resource for the first step, two resources and a boot for the second step, and so on and so on. It gets more expensive each time. So do I want to do that now already? Or do I first want to climb the mountain and get me some more cards that have, well, that mostly interact with the, ba uh, the banjo and the um, canoe track? So I think I think I'm going to just going to climb the mountain a little bit. We're on our way. 
Next, we are going to move this guy one uh, more spot. And as you can see, you can choose um, you can choose what order you're going to move them, as you can see. So now I've moved this one, now I move this twice. So let's take a uh, foot, there we go. Then I'm going to the mule action, which just it gives me the mule. Now, if my opponent, Hastings, would have had the mule already, then I would just take it from him. So the mule, well, you cannot keep it every time. You, some people might take it away, there's only one of them. The mule, special thing here, the mule can go to his own grey cabin here uh, and that allows you to exchange gold for resources and I see that it's not in the picture, so right over here and he can exchange as much gold for any resources of his choice and also, and I will show you later, we have three summit actions, these top actions on each card and after they, the, these travelers here have gone through their action row, they can do a summit action as well. There are three and you only have two workers, this one could do the third one as well. So I'm taking the mule, I'm not sure if I will use it, but I have it as long as I, Hastings doesn't take it away from me. Next, let's take one more step folks, yeah, so I'm going to keep climbing the mountain, get up there, trying to get a card from the top of the mountain. And well, let's just keep continue going, get a stone again. Now, I'm going to take a look at those summit actions that I talked about right over here. So after the track, I can go to one of these actions to, well, in this case, to either advance on the gray track here, on any track of my choice, or on the bronze track or what color it might be. So, but it cost me, of course, to activate. Now I've got two stone and one foot, so uh, three stone and one foot, so maybe I will need to do this one over here, the uh, the one that advanced me on the gray track, which is not too bad, it gives me gold. I will explain that soon. So I think I'm going to now continue uh, on this track here. This allows me to do a shovel action. Now the shovel action, that can be used either to take the card where I'm on on the mountain, but it has to be a phase up card, and at this moment I'm not on a phase up card yet, so that's not uh, possible. But also is important to get, uh, zoom out again, a cabin. Because a cabin costs you the shovel action, and maybe if you take one of the more left ones, one resource or one of those boot tokens. So I cannot take this one for now because that I don't have one of these. I could buy any of the other uh, three, which would cost me some resources if I want one of these. And these are pretty cool because uh, this one gives me, every time the other worker gets one wood, exactly one on the track, I would get two. The same for stone here. And this one, if each time I take one step, he can take two. So that's a difficult one um, and it might depend on what I want to do. Uh, do I want to have a lot of steps? It might be interesting for the beginning of the game to get fast on that mountain. Uh, or do I want more resources in the future? Oh boy, resources are quite important as well. But it will cost me an extra resource. So first, underneath this symbol here, of the brown action you can see there is also a resource cost so in order to activate this spade this shovel I need to pay a resource and as you can see later we have another one of these but it will cost two resources I think I won't do that this round but hmm so I'm definitely going to spend one stone that's for sure I'm going to spend that stone to do the shovel action and to take one of these uh, cabins and I think I'm going oh boy oh boy oh boy <sighs> I'm still going to get two food so I got some resources left which might be important oh do I or don't I I think I will I, I'm going to pay um, food so I'm paying two resources oh that might be a bad choice but I'm still going to get this one here. You can only build one cabin each round by the way and I'm placing it on top of a green spot here. So I just got three points or I didn't got minus three points at the end of the game for this cabin. So that's perfect. If 
I buy one of these cabins and it's not the right one, so the most right one, that gets discarded. We push everything to the back and we, it gets replaced. It might be that you have to do this at the end of a round uh, because you are not allowed to buy more than one. So otherwise you might forget that you already did. So this should be done at the end of the round, but we revealed two brown cabins, which is pretty interesting because we also want that. All right, then let's go ahead and move the bottom worker and get two food. And now uh, we could, if we want, go here and do another shovel action, but we, there's nothing we can do because we already did that. So we can just ignore this. Unless this symbol would have, have a red border around it. You will see that later in the game. All right, so next step is we might go up to a summit action. Uh, we can only do one, but because, of, because we can, we probably should. And I'm going to go right over here and I could choose, I could skip this action and use this one as well. Or I could even use the mule to go there if, and let's do that, the mule. So he skips everything and goes here. I pay two stone and a foot. There we go. And I get to go up on the track here. I'm yellow, so there we go. And as you can see, it's small, but as you can see on top of that track, there's a reward, a gold, which I get immediately because I advanced on that track. All right, the bottom ones, I will explain them later. Uh, Hastings doesn't do with anything with that as far as I know, but okay. So that ends my turn. I'm going, not going to do anything else, but we have to check one more thing for Hastings now. Now we check the trap action of Hastings. He, it's highlighted here, so that means he will trap the left animal on my cards, which is a fox. So he can flip his fox token and he trapped that one. Also, no minus three points for Hastings with that card. Okay, folks, and that ends my turn. My mule and my two pioneers, they go back to the camp, I discard my three used cards and I draw three new ones. There we go. So that's the cards I will be able to work with next round. But before there is a next round, there will be a round four or a turn for Hastings. So what happens in Hastings turn? Very simple. We are going to flip over the next card of his deck. I think there are 18 cards there. And we place this card next to the previous card, which is still the active card. But as you can see, the new card has these arrows here and three of them are highlighted. One of them is not. So what will he do? He's going to do every action from top to bottom that has a highlighted arrow pointing at it. So he's going to do these. Should he have a mule, then he will do four actions, all four of them but he will always do the mule action, so the not highlighted one, as the fourth action, as the last action in this turn. All right, so let's get started. Let's see what he will do. So we put these here. Also, bad news for me. Um, at this moment, I could choose to trap an animal as well. How do I trap an animal? I send one of my free workers in camp to the spot, and I'm going to zoom out a little bit again, to this spot here, which is the trapper spot. If I put a worker here and pay one resource of my choice, I can trap the animal on one of these two cards here on the left top, but he has none of them showing, which I really, really don't like. But hey, that's how it is. So we'll, well, I guess we'll have to live with it. So, all right. So what's happening here first, he's going to do the wheel action. So that means for free, yes, for free, because Hastings, I don't know, he has connections, I guess. He can do this for free. The wheel action means he's going to advance on the wagon track. There he goes. He's on a one-time multiplier while well, I'm still at zero. So that one point here, no, it's not a point yet, nothing. Okay, so we go to the next action where he will advance on the brown track here. And he's a red player. 
So, and now it's important. So now I have the choice to put one of my workers that's still in camp on the other spot here on my camp, which allows me to, for free, get the, the resource below this track. I'm following that action and I get that resource if I want to. But very important, if I do so, this worker that I placed here, next round, when it's my turn, he will not be able to go to a cabin anymore. He will be able to move through his track, but he cannot go back to the cabin. He already spent time doing, well, some cutting some wood or whatever. So I have to be very careful to what I do and what I choose to do. So I could go, I could do that and get a wood. Give me one more resource. Or maybe I could wait because he's also going to advance on the gray track, which gives him gold and which gives me a possible one stone. So I have to look at my cards to see what I'm planning to do and uh, what is the best thing to get. I know he's going to trap as well again this round, again the left animal. So maybe I want the fox at the left card because he already has the fox. So that might be the best thing to do. Put the fox on the left. The saddest thing about that is that I don't get that wood, that one wood, which gives me, could give me two with my cabin. But still, it might be interesting to do. Uh, let's see what else we can do. I still have two wood here so that might be a good thing so i think so i get two stones two food and probably two wood as well or four wood maybe even so i do get a lot of resources next round so i think i think i will hmm, i will follow this action and i'm going to follow that with this guy here because this guy has no cabin yet so he doesn't have to go to a cabin so I'm going to put that here and I'm going to take one gold, which is worth a point and which can be important for future cards. It might be worth uh, the while. We'll see. All right. That's his second action. He goes to his third and last action, which is go ahead on. Oh, and I forgot to put do that. So oh, I didn't get a gold. What am I talking about? Oh, boy. No, I'm going to, f oh boy, I'm already screwing this up. Um, what was I getting again? A lot of wood and, oh, and I can choose wood or stone. Um, oh boy, I'm going to follow, I'm sorry about this folks. I'm going to follow the brown action still, which gives me wood. So I didn't get gold because he's, I cannot fall, I cannot get that, I get this. I'm sorry. Okay, so that ends his turn. So he's not doing this action, which would be moving on the mountain. We discard this card here. This goes right over here. And uh, yeah, that was that. His turn is over. Back to me. Okay, good. We have our three cards. I planned them already. We leave this guy here, of course. So we get to do our planning. Let's do this and Normally this is easier, but I got this camera in front of me, this tripod, which takes a lot of space. All right, so that's what we're going to do this round, folks. So again, uh, we get to do all the actions. I could, and I will, move this guy here to his cabin, right at the bottom, which means as long as he's here and I get exactly one wood on the track, I will get two instead, which is perfect because we start our travel with this dude here who first has this boot and oh, he will have a lot of boots, but that's perfect. So I'm going to move on the mountain first. Yoink. Then I'm going to grab some wood and I get one more. And as you can see, as long as he's here, each time it activates because some of the some of the uh, cabins only activate once each round so you will have to choose when to do so. so which is pretty neat i get two wood there we go Ooh, a lot of wood perfect then i'm going to the next spot which has two boots so i can move my traveler on the mountain two spaces two cards and now i have to choose which one do i want and i think i'm going to the left although i want <laughs> 
Okay, so. Uh, these are my options here, folks. So I could get this one, which uh, allows me to canoe and stuff like that. I will explain later. And to fish, this is the same thing. Uh, but the summit action is different. This allows me to pay two of these fish to advance on this track or two of these to advance on this track. Now, this is more interesting for me, I guess, because you get gold if you advance on this track. You get a mule if you advance on this one. Mm -hmm. But, 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 if we go fishing now, at this moment, we only get one of those fish, like this one. Uh, so, hmm, do I want that? Because do I want this? Because this is hard to get. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do the smart thing for now. I'm going to take this card. Well, not take it yet. I'm put. I'm going to put my traveler on there. There we go. Okay. So next step. Next step is. Well, let's move one more step. But this time, my traveler is already on top of the at the top of the mountain so i think i'm going to spend one resource one resource one wood to advance on this track as well so cost me a boot and one resource okay great next step is move this guy again which gives me two wood again because i'm still on that cabin with the other guy perfect and now it's time for the other guy to do his job so he's moving away from the cabin and he's going right over here, giving him two stone. So I got some resources, which is pretty neat. And then we go to the shovel. Okay, so how much shovel actions are we going to take? We're still going to get two food, so I think I'm going to, I might do two this round. So uh, first of all, let's pay one resource, but I still have to see. I'm going to get two food again. Uh, two food. So I will spend those maybe for this track and two stone I will keep those two stone and a wolf all right uh, okay let's see let's spend oh I do I, I do prefer this to go up on this track here so I might want to keep all my yeah I'm going to pay one foot to do the shovel action which allows me either again to buy one of these cabins or, which might be more interesting, to get the cart for now. So, my traveler goes back down. I get this card and I can choose now. I can either put this card on top of my deck, my draw pile, or I discard it. And that's a tough choice, folks. Do I already want to do this next round? Because well, there is a card coming as well, so I might do that. It doesn't give my opponent any animal if I place it at the right spot. Uh, yeah, just let's just see what it does. We put it on top of our deck. Cool. And uh, we see an open card now because this is free now. You can reach it. And as you can see, this is one with a canoe on it. So this is one of the special cards. So we flip it and oh, it's a dark fish we add it to the row right over here to the river you will see resources here you replace all these resources from the supply on this card i will show you what that does later and maybe soon even okay that's that action and we get another card available here uh, so this card is now free to get all right next is well i'm going to move ahead two more food nice and that was an important decision folks i can go here to the shovel pay two resources again to get one of these tokens here the cabins which is worth three points <sighs> but 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 will i do that because if I go up there, summit action, I want to have these left, and I want to have these left. <sighs> Which is cool, that's no problem. But I still want resources to capture animals as well, because uh, capturing, a resource, uh, capturing an animal costs resources. 
I can get one resource by using my mule and trading this one for one resource, but then I'm all out of resources, which is not the best thing, but hmm. Okay, I think I do have a plan though. Yeah, I. Yeah, okay. Uh, boy. Okay, I do have a plan. Uh, I'm going to use that worker here, who is already at the end of his track, and I'm going to place him over here, which allows me to do the summit action. Spend two wood and a food. There we go. And now we advance on a track and I'm going to advance on this one, of course, because it's the, the one that's depicted on the summit action. So there we go, which gives me a pair of boots. Now this is worth a point, but I think I'm going to do something else with it because I'm going to still use my worker here. My second one is going to move on his track again, spend two resources whoops, to shovel. I'm also going to spend that boot because I'm going to buy this left one here, the one that allows me to ignore bears. And if I do so, I still get some boots even. I become a fast runner by running away from the bears. And I put it on the brown spot. Now this is the only brown cabin I can have. If I want another one, too bad I can't because you cannot replace any cabins with new ones. That's how it goes, folks. That's how it goes. All right, so next step, my other worker also goes to a card to a summit action. I'm paying the two stone and, a f and the wood. And I'm going up on the other track here. Nice, all right, which gives me a gold. And I'm not done yet because I'm going to send my mule to his cabin here. And I'm going to trade one gold for a resource of my choice. And uh, then I'm going to end my turn here. I'm going to send everybody back to camp. Now, he, Hastings, will check if he traps something, but, well, he will trap something, the left animal, but he already has a fox, so that's perfect. So he won't trap that. Next thing is, we didn't buy the most right cabin, so that will go away. We slide everything to the right, and there we go. Folks, two new cabins for us to possibly buy, or maybe Hastings. We discard our three cards that we used. And there we go. We draw three new ones. And as you might remember, we already got one of these new ones. And uh, yeah, some interesting stuff as well here to move our stuff here. All right, we'll see what we're going to do with these. First of all, Hastings turn. Hastings, who will draw the top card here? Okay, so again, we will place it like this. Now we can see here a question mark, which means not one animal of your choice, but now we can trap an anim the animal that is specific to this module. So this time we could trap uh, the raccoon which gives us one fish if we activate that, which is pretty neat. I think I'm going to do that. But before I choose what pioneer to do that with, I have to maybe figure out what I want to do with this. So we do have a hide again. Now let me explain the hide action now. If we activate this, we get every reward on our trapped animals. For example, if we had the raccoon, we get a fish, but if we also had the beaver, we will also get the wood. So if you'll capture a lot of animals, then this action can be very powerful. But for now, it's not that strong. The bear, let's explain the bear now. If you want to get past the bear, you have two options. Either you pay the cost below the bear, one or two resources, that's mandatory to get past it because of the red border. Or if you cannot pay, you take a wound. And taking a wound means losing one of your cabins or go back one space on the wagon track. So you don't want to do that. I do have my brown cabin, which allows me to, well, to ignore that one. But do I want to? That's the question. All right. Hmm. Okay, and then we have our new cars here with the pedals. So this means we can move one or two spaces to one direction on the river with our canoe. 
This month means that we can move to any river space or the market as well. Or we can go fishing and then it allows us to fish every, every fish that's below the cart where our wagon is and everything left of it. So we are not that far yet, so it might not be worth it at this moment. Oh, so let's see what are we going to do and what worker do I want to use? So this gives me, hmm, let's see, let's see, let's see. Don't forget where to put it, put that behind. So the downside of this, for example, is that it has two empty spots here. So you actually prefer to put it in the middle. So you, and I guess I will put it in the middle. So I think, uh, let's, I think I'm going to do it like this. No wood to be, well, there's some wood to be gained. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so which worker do I want to act, use? I'm going to put this worker here. This guy is, or do I want to follow up on a track? I can get boots or a mule. Hmm, I don't think so this time. I'm going to trap an animal paying one food or whatever, but I only have food to trap the raccoon. Ta -da! Minus three points less, that's great. Okay, next, Hastings will do his actions. He's not going to, uh, luckily he's not going to move on the wagon track. He will though do this, move on this track. Now I could follow him. He will get the mule by the way. He's taking the mule from me. Which is bad news because that means he's going to do that action still. Oh boy. I could follow him with the other worker to get a food, but that's not worth it for me at this moment. So I'm not going to do that. He's going to move on the other track as well. And he's moving so fast. Craziness. He's going to move on the mountain. And we look at the worker here where this on the side is. So it's left at this moment. So that means he's left guy here. We'll go to the leftmost next card on the mountain. That's it. And because he has the mule, he will also do the fourth action, which means he will go right over here. Oh, too bad. All right, that ends the turn. Uh, this card gets discarded. And that means we go to my next turn, which is for the next episode, folks, this was part one of my playthrough of uh, Sierra West. I hope you're enjoying it. It's, uh, I think it will go faster next episodes because I don't have to explain as much. Of course, I try to explain when I do a playthrough. So uh, that's why it takes a little bit longer. But I hope you're enjoying it. If you saw any goofs, let me know in the comments below. If, um, well... If you liked the video already, give it a thumbs up if you want. If you want to see the next episodes, feel free to subscribe and push that bell icon so you can see when the next episode goes online. And yeah, that's it, folks. Thank you for watching my first part of my Sierra West playthrough. I hope you see you next time as well. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.